Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw another Fortnite pickaxe. This time it's the awesome looking legendary sword. So here's my full pencil sketch shown in two speed. And then right after this, I'll come back and uh, show you guys how to draw this line by line with a Sharpie. Alright, so let's draw this and here's my sketch underneath and we can start out right in the middle. We just draw in the uh, big curve right in the center. So we just draw one big curve. So the hard part is always to uh, try to make things symmetrical, but we'll try the best we can. Alright, and then from this curve on the corners here, I'm just going to come out slightly. And then we'll curve up on both sides. 
And then from here, just come straight across. Okay, so now it gets a little bit easier because this part is the hardest. So now we're just gonna slant back down. Okay, and then we're gonna come in. Just leave a little bit of space inside. And then whatever space you have here, I'm just gonna draw one curve, very similar to the one up top. So we just connect that. All right, so it's a very tricky shape and you can see my lines a little bit wobbly even though I have a sketch underneath. So if you're gonna freehand this, just keep in mind that it's always very difficult. So it's okay if it's a little bit lopsided. Okay, so now we continue down right underneath here. I'm just gonna draw one curve. And then from here, taper in toward the center, close it off. And then whatever space you have here, just draw two slants going up. Okay, and then now for the details, uh, let's draw, we're gonna draw two more of these uh, curves right over the top here in the center. So just right over the bottom one, we'll just go one across. And then just one more. So this is gonna be a different color right here, this little band. Okay, and then right in here, this one's easier. We just draw a little angle like this coming down. And then one curve up top. And then I'm just gonna add a little dot inside. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And then now for the handle, so we're gonna come right here. We're gonna make two little marks. And then we'll go straight down. On the bottom here, we'll close it off with a slight curve. And then we'll continue that, and just draw in like a little egg shape on its side. we we'll just come out and draw a little bracket like this first, and then just round it out. And then on the inside here, so this one's easy, we'll just follow the curve. Just one more egg shape inside. And then now for the uh, little details on the strap right here on the handle. Just two lines right here. One more around the middle. And then I'm gonna draw one line going this way. So this one is kind of like behind this other strap here. Okay, and then one more here. And then I'm gonna add one line here so there's something going uh, right behind that. Okay, and yeah, once I color those, it should be a little bit more clear. All right, so now we're gonna go up for the blade. And before we join the full blade, we're gonna add in the little detail inside here first. So here's the center. Okay, so pick the center, just go up. And now we'll curve back down. So nice and sharp. And then from there, we're gonna draw in the uh, the edge of the blade. So come about right here, right around this corner, and you go up, make two little marks. So it's gonna start right there. And then for this one, I'm drawing a little bit shorter, uh, just so I can show it to you uh, on the camera, but you can go up a little bit higher. So we'll just go up, just kind of flare out just a little bit. So it's a little bit wider on the tip. And if you can use a ruler, that's uh, probably the best. It'll make a little bit of a straighter line. All right, if not, we're just gonna freehand it. So now from the corner here, we'll just go up toward the center. Okay, and then for the little border, so this one's easier. We'll just start in the center, we'll go straight down. And then we're gonna follow this same slant here. Just come down, leave a little bit of space. And then from this point here, we just connect to the corner. 
And then from this corner, we'll go all the way down here. So you can make a little marker first. Just kind of follow the same slant as the one uh, on the outside. Let's go all the way down. And that is it for this very cool looking legendary sword pickaxe in Fortnite. Hope you guys like the way it turned out and if you do please check out my other videos and I will see you next time.